the flex tail r050 mat so here's my little review and thoughts on it based on using it quite a few times so the size of it is 185 by 65 centimeters i'm six foot two usually i go for a bigger mat if i'm a side sleeper and this does me really well the insulation on it ranges from this point to that point the outside baffles aren't insulated but it doesn't affect us i don't get any cold spots at all thermal insulation it's a pet aluminium mixed with other polymers it's very warm compared to my big agnes with this being a 5.6 big agnes being a 4.4 the difference is massive but yeah i get no cold spots from the outside so it hasn't been a worry i've had it down to zero degrees so it's been tested for more of the three season weather or four season weather uh, keep your eye on this channel and you'll see it going forward as i say i'm going to run it throughout the full winter like i did with my big agnes for the weight of it it's 690 grams which isn't too bad considering it's a four season mat with all value of 5.6 the big Agnes I've got that is a large, so it's the same width but longer. I think it's 195 centimeters. I believe that's 780 grams. So yeah, it's quite a difference. So with this here, you do not get a pump sack with it. As Flex Steel make their own little pumps. I'll put a discount code down there. Go and check them out. Um, I highly recommend for this time of the year, coming in the winter, autumn winter is the Flex Steel Mini Pump Two or just the standard Mini Pump with the light on. So you're getting a light source as well as a pump with this. And it reduces moisture by not using your mouth. So to inflate the mat, you use this little valve here on the outside. Inflate it into there. And that's it done. It's a non-return valve, so you can't get air out of it. And to deflate it, you pull that tab there. So the dual valve, a handy system. It's not easy to get out within the terms of I've got a pillar with a strap on. I've caught it a few times on the top and I've never been able to rip it out here. So I'm very happy with it. It's a nice mat. It's a budget mat. Don't get us wrong. I think you can get them for around ninety pound uh, with the discount code. That's a discount code there. Same as always. Mark fifteen. Use that. It, it does differ a bit. It probably won't be um, as cheap sort of going in the winter. But you never know. You never know. But yeah. Um, a nice mat. Lovely mat. You can feel the barrier in it. You can see it. Many nights on it. So yeah, many nights on it. I really like it. Lee's got one. Lee's enjoying his. I find with these mats being more tubular, they give us more of a, a comfy night as they wrap round you. In that sort of sense. And that's a better sleep for me. The Big Agnes was originally a nice sleep. Transitioning over and then I went to another mat which was a very similar design. But for the summer from Outkit and I slept better. So this here for me is uh, the, best sort of, the best sort of mat for comfort so i recommend it if you're a side sleeper go for a tubular design but i overall i'm happy with it i've had about five uses on it so far six uses actually on it so far and i kind of complain i've been very comfortable on it i've enjoyed the warmth from it with the r value and it, it does exactly what it should do you know um i think all along i've been a regular in mat mat size so this has worked out perfect for us but i recommend it a nice warm mat I hope this has helped you out going forward. If you're after a budget mat for the winter, or you're just getting in a wild camping, then this is the one for you. If you've already got a good mat, such as a big Agnes, then consider changing if you want to spend £100-ish to get a mat like this. I highly recommend it, and you won't be complaining about it at all. Flex Steel makes some great products. Every product I've had from them has been top-notch quality in everything, from the pumps to the torches to the mats, and I kind of complain. They do do a lot of work. Uh, into the R&D and it is reflected within their product so hats off to them for producing something like this which has never been around in the market such as a budget high R value mat. Hope this has been a help and as always I'll see you on the next one.